Charles Marshall is one of the really great paleontologists in the world, certainly one of the great Cambrian experts. And he's met, written many technical papers on the Cambrian explosion, papers that I've read and enjoyed for years. I've really admired his work. And so when I found out that he had reviewed my book and reviewed it in the journal Science, no less, I was really pleased. Uh, Science is a very prominent journal, one of the most prominent science journals in the world. And uh, it was uh, a compliment to the book in a way to, to review it at all, to take the time to do that. And I, I was pleased at that. Marshall, unique among reviewers of the book, actually described and addressed and indeed attempted to refute the main argument of the book. The ar main argument of the book, uh, as uh, viewers may recall, is that the information necessary to build the Cambrian animals, the genetic information and epigenetic information that's necessary to build the Cambrian animals is best explained by intelligent design and is not adequate, adequately explained by the neo-Darwinian mechanism of natural selection acting on random mutation or any of the other materialistic evolutionary mechanisms that have been proposed to explain the origin of, of fundamental innovations in the history of life. Marshall attempted to refute my argument from information, not by explaining where the information came from, but rather by saying, well, you wouldn't really need, the evolutionary process really wouldn't need that much new genetic information. But his answer actually revealed the opposite, because what he said was that our current understanding is not that you would need a lot of new genetic information to build these animals, but instead that uh, the evolutionary process would just need to rewire the genetic regulatory networks that control how other pre-existing genes are expressed. And that, uh, that description of, of his solution to the problem actually betrays uh, or, or uh, presupposes uh, three different sources of information. The information present in genetic regulatory networks. Genetic regulatory networks are made of genes. Genes contain uh, digital information. Uh, the information required to rewire those genes uh, and that network of genes. Uh, rewiring those genes would require multiple coordinated mutations, which would be a number of changes in genetic information or code. Uh, and thirdly, the information in the genes upon which these regulatory networks act, which are responsible for building the, the specific anatomical parts of the Cambrian animals. So in order to answer the argument from information, Marshall presupposed three other sources of information, three unexplained sources of information. In other words, he begged the question.